Hey, we've got a nice new little battery from Red Odo. And don't let that size fool you. That's a powerhouse. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Got a beautiful day happening here today. Had some intermittent showers this morning. And boy, that sun is out now, charging all the systems. And we got a new battery to look at. And here it is. This is the new 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Red Odo Group 24. It's got Bluetooth 5.0 low temperature cutoff protection. And it's a nice little battery. And it arrived with a 50% charge. And then I immediately tied it into a 140 watt solar panel and ran that through this EP ever. 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller and took it up to 100%. And that leads me to what I think is one of the coolest features on this new battery and that is the Bluetooth 5.0 that's built into this. You just go to the app store, download the Red Odo app and there it is. It'll connect right to this battery and you can constantly see how your battery is doing, what the state of charge is. How much solar is coming in currently there's zero solar coming in no current being drawn voltage of the battery 13.3 volts that is a super nice feature now when you first get this battery and after you download the app it will not connect until you start charging the battery that will turn it on it comes with the bluetooth turned off in the battery and all it needs is a little power going in. So the minute I hooked this up to solar, I was able to connect to the app and I could watch the power coming in. And like I said, I started at 50%. And then over the past few days, you know, I got it up to 100%, had really cloudy days, but got it up to 100%. And then the past couple of days, it has just stayed on 100%. I just love seeing more and more batteries coming with calling themselves a smart version or having Bluetooth where you can monitor in case you don't have a MPPT that, you know, shows you all of those parameters. You can just look at your device and see what state of charge your battery is in. I really like that. Okay, so now we know we have a 100% full battery. I put it on a little MRBF 100 amp fuse right there on the positive side. We've tied it into my testing inverter 1500 watt pure sine wave and we'll turn it on now we can look at the app 99 percent full let's put a current on it and see if the app will show us what we're drawing I'll put something on. all i needed was a 13 millimeter wrench to do all of this very very easy and it's very dark and rainy out right now, so the first thing I brought out to tie in here is just a little lamp so we'd have better lighting. And we'll see what we see. And this thing doesn't draw but a few watts. It's a low wattage light bulb. It's not showing any power coming off of there. It says the capacity is 99.5 amp hours left. All cells are balanced. And that's all the information we have right there. I'll try and put a bigger load on there and uh, see what we get there. Wanted to get that reflection out of the way. So, okay, well, it's all working just fine. And let's see if the inverter even picks up the, the load. And let's see. It might not either. Let's see. Well, it's reading it exactly the same, 13.3. Okay. Okay. Let's grind up tomorrow morning's coffee and see if we can get that to register on anything. Yeah, 
give you guys an idea how that app works. <laughs> You could see it was taking 150 watts to grind up my coffee. I love that. I love having a Bluetooth app on the battery. You know, because a lot of us don't have Victron stuff tied up, charging our batteries. I love seeing a battery that comes with everything you need to know. Didn't touch the battery, of course, and it's so dark out. Um, I'm not getting any solar in right now because it would show the solar coming in, but there's absolutely none coming in at the moment. That could change in a minute, and I'll try and catch that. Finish up the coffee. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. All right, let's tie in my 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And I'm going to run the extension cord all the way out to that inverter. Okay, just got the refrigerator plugged in. It's running. You can see the refrigerator is pulling 65 watts, which that's about normal for the ambient temperature we've got going right now. Discharging, giving you an approximate time left for the discharge, drawing this amount of power from it. 21 and a half hours or so is what will run this refrigerator, freezer, and everything's looking great. 99.5 amp hours. That'll start to change, of course, as we start drawing it down. I like the fact that it does show that the batteries are balanced. Let's see if we click that, if it would do anything different. I guess there's a, a little alarm that may happen. Not sure. We'll keep working this down and see what happens. So yeah, this is just a very simple setup for this experiment and it is extremely dark and rainy out there. And it's that middle panel right there that's charging this system. Those other panels are for other systems. That one's actually disconnected right now. I'm starting to move it around. But it's just that 140 watt panel there in the center that's driving this system. And yeah, it's dark. So this is reading 13.2 now on the uh, M MT50 and this one's still showing 13.3 that's my favorite part of this new battery now we know Redoto is a great battery I've tested many of their products before never had an issue with them anytime I did customer support's real good gets right back to you so yeah I'm very pleased about this we'll let this run a while see if anything acts up i don't expect it to super nice i mean look at the size of that <laughs> could just about palm it nice yeah so now it's showing near 23 hours it'll run that 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer and we're while we're waiting for this to discharge some uh i'll mention that they're saying this is their best price ever on a new battery and there's quite a few discounts going on and of course black friday sale from uh, the 19th of november to the third of december and currently right now that battery is listed two hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents you can join be a member drops it down quite a bit lots of discount codes going on right now you can look in the description below this video for some other discounts they're offering through this channel should get it under 200 bucks that's dirt cheap with all of these features of course the low temperature control protection or yeah low temperature cutoff protection excuse me uh, that's not really 
uh, anything I have to worry about here in the tropics, but for those of you that are in colder climates, you've got that protection. So that's really great. We know Redoto builds a great battery. We've seen them all torn apart. I'm not gonna do that because I trust what they say. Never had an issue with them whatsoever. Super dark rainy conditions persist. I was hoping for a burst of sunshine. That may not happen. The day started off with a little bit as this experiment continued. Uh, pretty much nothing coming on the solar, but the refrigerator freezer working just fine. And on the discounts, you'll find it's site wide. It's not just specifically for this battery. So if you want uh, a different style of their battery, the discounts will apply to anything that you want to purchase through them. So that's very good. But I love that little 100 amp hour battery. And I'm a big fan, and I've said that, and I will reiterate a Bluetooth app on there. Very, very handy. Look at a glance, see where you're at. There we are. Still drawing 58 watts on the refrigerator. And I love how it gives you the estimated time of how long this battery will keep running, drawing that. And been running that battery, about are the uh, refrigerator for about 15 minutes now. It's dropped down to 98% state of charge and it's taken about one amp hour of its capacity. Now let's take a little bit closer look here at the bottom of the app. It says all cells are balanced and see what this actually is here. I guess if there was any issue with the cells, it would maybe show up there. Not really sure, but yeah, you tap that. And, and then this one, I guess if you tap that, I thought maybe it was an alarm, but it's for the BMS. I guess if there was an issue on the BMS, there'd be some sort of information there, but everything's working good. And it says, if I go back to here, all cells are balanced. That's great. So if there was an issue with any of the cells, I'm assuming it would pop up in here somewhere and you would know, but that's a feature that we've never seen. I've never seen on a battery that would give you any kind of indication that there was a cell issue. And this is continuously running. State of charge has dropped down to 96% now. Shows you how many amp hours are left. And when they say 96.5 amp hours, there's 96.5 amp hours left. Because you can drain one of these batteries down to zero, no problem whatsoever, and then just charge it back up to 100% and you're good to go. And as some of you guys know from my last few videos, I had my dad out here visiting <clears throat> last couple of weeks. And uh, he's got a little travel trailer with an old lead acid battery tucked away in it that he's thinking about replacing. It's starting to fizzle out as they do. And he's never known what the state of charge was, you know? I mean, the little teeny controller he has on it just has a light indicating either it's charged or not. <laughs> uh, and so as we were looking this over while he was here, I was telling him this is the battery he should probably get because he doesn't like having to lift a super heavy lead acid battery into the small trailer compartment of his RV that that's a hassle and he picked this up and said, man, that's light. I mean, and we know these are very, very light, right? So, and then I showed him, you know, on the app as we were charging it up while he was here, I said, now here, you just download their app and then you can just tap it on whatever device you've put it on and there you will know exactly what your state of charge is, how long you can run it for whatever device you're running in your trailer. So I think he's gonna get one of these simply because of this feature here. He can be laying around in his trailer, doing whatever, drawing the power down off that battery and he'll know exactly where he's at. So guys, I think we'll wrap this test up. This is a pretty sweet little battery right there. That's the Red Odo Bluetooth model, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I'm gonna let it run all night long. It says I've still got 23-ish hours left on it now. <clears throat> that one little battery, probably run that 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer for near 20, 24 hours because 
in the evening the temperatures will get a little cooler than they are right now i'm sitting at about 71 72 degrees it'll drop down into the 60s tonight that refrigerator won't run as much so give you an idea of what one of those little batteries can do and if you even have a doubt of how much longer you've got on your capacity while you're using it the app will show you so thanks for tuning in as always this has been a fun little experiment cool little battery might give it a look if you're interested and i'll catch you on the next one thanks to red odo for sending this battery out it's been a while since anyone sent a battery out here to hawaii that's kind of hit and miss sometimes of companies that will do that looks like they're back on track to be doing that some so i will continue to bring you more batteries as they trickle in and hoping for some sunshine now <laughs> Aloha. Yeah. Like that battery quite a bit. What do you think, P? I'm just sitting here looking at the app. And now you can see the battery has paused. Uh, not the battery, I'm sorry, the refrigerator has paused. You know, because it does not run constantly. It gets it up to the right temperature and then it turns off. So, yeah, it puts the battery right into standby as soon as that refrigerator starts cycling again for another cooling cycle it'll start discharging again and we've taken a whopping three amp hours out of it and everything's good